Hello everyone, today's video is on Saturn and it's also known as Shunny and um, we'll be talking about all the elements uh, that are in Saturn and what it represents, how it uh, relates to your chart, to your life. Uh, so let's get into it. So Saturn is a, um, it's an air planet. And it is cold and it is dry because it's uh, far away from the sun. So it doesn't really uh, get the sun's rays uh, the way Earth does and the, the planets that are closer to the sun. So these outer planets are further away, so they're all kind of cold. Um, Saturn is also Lord of Capricorn and Aquarius. And it is a slow uh, moving planet. Um, and everything about Saturn is very, very slow. And the colors that are uh, representative of Saturn are black and blue. So um, if you're looking at any animals, then you're uh, looking at like black dogs, black cats, black snakes. Um, if you're looking at uh, anything else, uh, as far as uh, like the earth, you're looking at black rock. Um, so those are the colors. Uh, a, a deep dark blue is also representative of, um, of Saturn. Um, in Vedic astrology, Saturn is also, as far as relationships uh, of the planets, Saturn is uh, the sun of the sun. Okay, so sun of the sun. And you know, it's father and son. They usually have a, um, a very interesting relationship. <laughs> so, um, and Saturn is also known God of justice. So, um, you know, you got to make sure you're doing right by Saturn. Um, now, as far as um, what sign is it's exalted in, uh, it's exalted in uh, Libra. And it is debilitated in um, Aries. And the reason being is that um, now Saturn likes to work with people. It likes to um, work, um, work as a whole, whereas uh, Aries likes to work. Uh, it's the I am. It likes to do things on its own. So here you kind of have to do things on your own, um, which become kind of difficult um, because things are always easier when you're working in groups. That's how Saturn prefers to work, you know, but here it's having to work on its own. It's having to do all the responsibilities falling on the person. Um, so here it's debilitated because it's, it's having to do its own work uh, uh, independently um, from people. So if you're looking at... Um, you know, like, uh, work, then you're probably the one that's carrying most of the load. Uh, in a family, you might be the one carrying most of the burden. Um, now it's exalted in Libra because of the same reason is that Saturn does like to work as a part of a whole. It likes to work in partnership. And that's why it's exalted in Libra because Libra is a sign of partnership it's it's uh balancing things out between the two it's the other side of the one you know so and it's also uh saturn has its uh directional strength which is uh digbala it also has its uh directional strength in the seventh house which is the house of partnerships right so where do we see normally uh people um doing most of their duties and sacrifice because saturn does uh, require sacrifice. Sacrifice for a greater good um, where you will sacrifice to get something back in return. So one of the places where you can have that is actually in marriage. You're usually compromising to bring uh, to, to make the whole a better unit. So um, there you'll see that um, in marriage, you know, uh, again, because it's the seventh house, 
it's actually uh, exalted in Libra because it's the house of partnerships. Okay, so um, now we'll uh, give you a little bit more of uh, words that kind of represent, it'll give you a, a good understanding of what Saturn represents as a, um, as a planet, um, and how it affects your day-to-day -day life. Um, so these words might ring true to you. And a lot of people, this is one of the reasons why Saturn is so, uh, feared and so misunderstood. It's one of the most un misunderstood planets, um, of the Zodiac and Saturn is also, um, known to be very detached and um, isolated. It is when you, um, you'll experience isolation and um, even like um, anything to do with basically the eighth house and the um, the twelfth house. So, so basically, the eighth house is uh, any kind of problems with your in-laws, um, chronic illness, major debts, bankruptcies, uh, crisis, um, accidents, disgrace, dejection. Uh, it's other people's money, um, and it's um, a lot of obstacles. Uh, uncontrollable passions that's the eighth house um anything that's deep uh with deep below the surface like the foundation of of stuff uh and also um the uh saturn also has um the detachment and isolation of the 12th house so um it also represents secret enemies um uh, being isolated like being in the hospital or being in jail uh, consolatory confinement, um, that kind of isolation, uh, expenses, um, insanity, imprisonment, like I said before, um, major kind of losses, uh, the 12th house represents death and exile, again, being alone, uh, it represents fear and extravagance, um, it, uh, represents breakdowns and also addictions, uh, so that's the 8th house and the 12th house, um, which are, um, you know, Saturn's houses. So um, now um, it does represent um, death, but it also represents uh, longevity. And uh, let me explain that to you, uh, because Saturn is a factor of age. It's also known as father time. So it doesn't do anything quickly. It just does everything very, very slowly, which also means you can age slowly. You can have a very long, long old age. Um, and um, like the eighth house, um, Saturn also represents the ancestral home. Ancestral properties. And a, um, it's considered a malefic uh, planet. And anything malefic is, uh, you know, considered bad. And a lot of people fear the malefic planets. But I would say to you, um, don't fear Saturn. Saturn actually gives a lot of rewards. You can see, um, you know, a lot of people going from uh, rags to riches uh, with Saturn placements. Um, now, um, it gives rewards according to your karma. And your your Saturn placements have a lot to do with your uh, previous karmas. So, um, and these previous karmas actually uh, are what create... Saturn is also a planet of restrictions and boundaries. And your previous karmas uh, will uh, kind of dictate the boundaries. So, and the restrictions of where and what you, you can do. So, for instance... Uh, you might, um, you might have a, uh, you might have a job, uh, working for someone, but, you know, uh, 
your previous karmas dictate that you should be your own um your own boss you should have your own business um then you'll never really do well working for other people because it'll force you into uh you know the boundaries of working for yourself you'll have no other choice but to to do that because saturn will present those um obstacles and uh those hurdles uh, in your way until, you know, you go on the path of where you're supposed to go. Now, Saturn also can show professions. So, um, so for instance, if you're, um, if you have your son with your, uh, Saturn, it's a possibility that, uh, and depending on other placements and everything else, um, it's possible that you could go into the same field as your father. You could do uh, what he did as a career. You can follow your father's footsteps as far as uh, your work. Um, now, um, Saturn uh, is a taskmaster, and that is for sure. So he wants you to work hard, and he wants you to work long and hard. And what Saturn will do is he will give you the uh, rewards. Uh, if you don't, then uh, you will suffer loss and you will uh, suffer uh, dejection and uh, other obstacles, obstacles will come along your way until, because you, you see Saturn is actually a very uh, spiritual planet. And a lot of people don't understand Saturn the way it's uh it's it's a very misunderstood planet like I said before, um, Saturn is a very spiritual planet, it is always trying to bring you back onto the right path, and the right path of karma. Okay, so that you're always doing, uh, the right thing so that you uh, go through this process of these lifetimes and you get to uh, actually the 12th house, which is Nirvana. So it gives you the, it's trying to get you to moksha. And, uh, but, you know, it, it's not an easy process, you know. So every time you veer off the path, uh, Saturn will bring you back. It'll yank you back into, you know, and say, mm -mm this you're not getting away with this you need to come back you need to do the work uh no more slacking off that's why with saturn um it's actually you know you have to deal with a lot of laziness um so it does make you lazy because it wants you to actually get up and do the work for you to motivate yourself to put in the um the hard work uh labor it's anything that is um it takes a long time to do Anything that is hard, anything that has pressure and uh, takes time, uh, that, is, that is Saturn. And if we're talking about that, then we're talking about gold and gems. They take a long time to form. They take a lot of pressure to form. And, um, and they're represented by, by Saturn for that uh, reason. Um, and also farmers... Uh, they actually, uh, agriculture, now they basically sow what they reap, okay, again, that's karma for you, and Saturn is all about karma, so you have nothing to fear, if you're doing right, then Saturn will do right by you, if you're not doing right, then again, it's nothing to fear. Saturn is, uh, is, is going to bring you back to the right path. That's Saturn's beauty. Saturn is a wonderful, wonderful planet. Um, Saturn also represents uh, foundations. Okay. Now, um, Saturn represents foundations, uh, not just of... Uh, of, of um, we're talking about moral foundations. We're talking about your educational foundations. And we're talking about even your house foundation, okay? Because you're building your house and the bottom has to be the strongest. If it's not the strongest, everything you build on top of it is just going to, you know, fall down. So, um, and if you're a bad, weak moral 
you know, foundation, again, you won't, you won't withstand uh, all the, the, the things that you need to in life. If your educational foundation is weak, you know, your, your career will suffer, your uh, life will suffer from that. So basically, it represents the foundation, okay? Um, and if you're, uh, if you're going to put in the effort and the energy and the time to lay the foundation right, then all of these three things, they were they will all uh, they will all be rewarded to you. You will uh, you will be superior in these areas. You'll have a wonderful secure home. You'll have a secure education and career. Uh, morally, nobody can corrupt you because your foundation is so strong. That's Saturn for you. So if you've liked today's video and you found it informative, then uh, please don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will keep bringing you uh, more videos on astrology, numerology, vastu, and all of these types of topics for you. Um, and um, my next video will be on uh, Saturn in different houses and um, what uh, Saturn tells you in each house and how it performs in each house. So uh, until then, have yourself a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.